Hi, today we're looking at the POCOM software connected to a 2013 Porsche Boxster S. So if we plug the interface into the diagnostic socket, which is in the passenger footwell on this one, Okay, and now we can go into the software. So this is a Boxster uh, 981 model. So if we select that, and now we're running an auto scan, which is gonna go around all systems on the car, seeing which computers and ECUs it can talk to and which of them have fault codes. So it takes a few minutes to scan the whole car because of lots of possible different ECUs. Almost done. Great, so now we've got a list of all the systems it spoke to in alphabetical order, and it shows which of them have fault codes present. So you can scroll down all these and have a look. Uh, you can also print a report from these if you wanted to, if you wanted to save a copy of your fault codes. So if we all look down the list, you see most of them reporting zero fault codes. And you can double click on each of these to go into the module to have a look at the fault codes. We'll just look all the way down the list. Okay, and now let's Go back up and have a look at some of the modules that had faults in them. So if we go into the gear selector, we can see that one's got a fault code in it. Let's have a read the fault code. Don't know how long that code's been there, so we can just clear that one. Okay, so we can drop back out of here. Right, so let's go back and have a look at the other systems that had fault codes to see what's in each of those. Uh, which one? Oh, we've got one. Where's that? The can can gateway. I think we had a fault code. Let me just find that. read the code. It's a power fault. Okay, let's just clear that. Right, let's have a look at what configuration options we've got in the CAN gateway. So you can see the list of systems here and we do have an option to be able to change. So if we're adding or taking systems away, we can actually change them within here. But we don't want to modify anything at the minute. So it's got back. So now let's have a look at the engine. So you can have a look at system information that just tells us a bit about the engine ECU and gives us some parked codes. And now let's have a look at the measuring values. So this is the live data that we can look at on the engine. So we've got a drop down list here of all the different live data values. So you can pick some data from here and have it graphed. There's a good list of different values on there. Uh, let's have a look at the actuators. So we've got a list here of different actuations and actuators that we could use on the engine. Just pick one from the list and, and run it. And let's have a look at the programming and coding options. So we've got a few different options in there for, for resets. Let's drop back out of the engine. and just drop out this auto scan. In fact, if we go back in, we can have a look at the gearbox, the transmission, because we didn't look at that, and just see what actuations we've got on here. So if we have a look in the 
programming menu. We've got a list of different actuations there. There's something we've been asked about a few times on Porsche about being able to do gearbox adaptations, especially on the PDK transmissions. If you've got any questions about POCOM or you're looking for any diagnostic system for a Porsche or any other car, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.